Good. Hello again. Uh, we moved uh, a few yards from where we were, and what I'm doing now, I'm I'm sitting against a tree, of course, uh, and it's in the let's just call it the leaning mode and not the rear leg mode. Um, what I want to show you though is, and all of this is in my instructions, but when you lean up against a tree, um, the rear leg needs to be in the up position. You see here, uh, it was down here this strap was strapped to the bottom horizontal bar of your seat. Now, for the uh, leaning mode, uh, you just fold the rear leg up. Uh, the older seats don't have this strap. Sorry about that. If you call me, I'll send you one. Uh, but the strap and hold the rear leg up. Now, the seat, th this bottom horizontal bar is at the height that it is so that when you lean against a tree I don't have any good big roots on this tree but it is designed to set to straddle uh, roots so that you're not uh, uh, so, so that it's it's not difficult to uh, find an appropriate place that you need to be so with that said, let, let me say one other thing. If, if you were in extremely soft ground with no roots, you could move the rear leg all the way down and that would help keep you from sinking. So all you do is you just lean it and you get it where you think you want it and just kind of tuck your straps out of the way. And again, you just sit down. And uh, the adjustment that we did with the rear leg down uh, is, is the same as we do here, except if you want to be, if you want to not lean as much, you just back the seat up, okay? Back it up, move it forward. That's your adjustment it's just very simple um, it's just not complicated at all and as you may can see uh, as far as little hunting tips uh, I've already scratched the ground out there's nothing noisy under me um, I had a little high place right here uh, I am a bow hunter I shoot a long bow I have never had a problem with my bottom limb hitting the ground but you still need to be careful. There's nothing here. Now, when uh, again, a, a, a little hunting tip. When you're sitting like this, if you don't have a lot of cover, what I think you need to do and what I've learned over the years is the bigger stuff you can use for your blind, the better. Okay? So, th I, I just did this. This wasn't particularly a place that I hunted, although I've kind of forgotten where I was when I hunted here, but even if it means building you a little teepee uh, out of whatever you can find, the bigger the better. That's important. The bigger stuff you can find, the better. And if you are reasonably camouflaged, um, don't worry so much about stuff in front of you. Um, and a little note to bow hunters, uh, you're sitting here and most bow hunters have their bow in their lap. Well, your arrow is sticking out to here. And then when you want to pick your bow up to shoot, you're even further out. And you don't need to deal with a bunch of little twigs stuck up in the ground. You're just going to get in trouble if you do that. So if you have good back cover, solid back cover is what you want to have and you know don't get don't feel like that you are just terribly exposed uh, by not having much if anything in front of you 
Uh, so I think uh, it, it's so simple that there's not a lot to say about this portion of the uh, pack seat. Uh, so what I think we'll do is uh, we'll just take another little short break and I want to talk for just a minute about uh, the pack frame part of the pack seat. And we'll see you in a minute.